the fourth video in a series of videos that I've been doing focusing on English for the interview process. Okay, in this video I'm going to look at how we uh, hear, how we say questions and answers about our weaknesses and after that I'm going to look a little bit in detail at the grammar that we also use with strengths and weaknesses. Let's get started with the weaknesses sample questions. Number one, what are your greatest weaknesses? Number two, what are your strongest weaknesses? Three, can you tell me what do you think your weaknesses are? Four, which aspects of yourself are you improving? Five, which areas of yourself would you like to improve? Okay, now uh, I want to move on to now the sample answers. Number one, I'm always working on improving my communication skills to be a more effective presenter. I recently joined Toastmasters, which I find very helpful. In this first sample answer, you will hear that the person is describing the weakness, but also describing what he or she is doing to improve it. This is very important. If you recognize a weakness, you must act on improving it. Let's listen to sample answer number two. Sometimes I have trouble delegating duties to others. I've since taken courses in time management and learned more effective delegation techniques. Now here in this second uh, example you will note that the person has acted on the weakness in delegating by taking courses in time management and effective delegation techniques. Let's now look at the grammar that we often use when we use uh, language to describe weaknesses. One, we use linking words, conjunctions to contrast. They are often but, however, while, whereas, and nevertheless. Let's listen to one example. I'm a little shy, but I'm taking a recital course to improve my confidence. Okay, the weakness is being shy. The action to improve that, the recital course to improve confidence. Okay, I now want to go back to the grammar issues that we touched on when we talked about strengths. Let's remind ourselves of the useful grammar. Number one, I am honest, using adjectives. Number two, I'm a good listener, using nouns with adjectives. Number three, I have good management managerial skills. I possess good managerial skills. Again, using adjectives with nouns. I am good at multitasking. This is where we use the ing form as a noun. And I know how to adapt to new work situation. I am able to adapt to new work situations. Here we're using the verbs know and able to. Okay, let's now look at verbs. Common verbs that we use to describe weaknesses and strengths. Be, have, possess, manage, perform, be good at, can plus the base verb, be able to and know how to. Also, we use the past participle form that ends in ed as an adjective. Listen to this example. 
I am results orientated. I am focused. I am organized. Now the ING form as an adjective. I am easygoing and hardworking. And finally, the ING form used as a noun. We sometimes call this a gerund, and it's at the start of a sentence. Developing new work strategies is one of my strongest abilities. Okay, let's look at nouns now to define your traits. Example, I'm a good multitasker. Multitasker is the noun. Adjectives to express traits. Colleagues say I'm friendly and competent. And also adverbs that we use to modify. For gradable, we use very, quite, rather, really, exceptionally, or particularly. Let's hear an example in the sentence. I can work exceptionally well under pressure. Now for ungradables, really, absolutely. Let's hear an example. My manager managerial skills are really amazing okay that concludes this video focusing on weaknesses and looking at the grammar that is very important to describe both strengths and weaknesses in the next video I'm going to look at uh, issues regarding your hobbies and interests